an interesting opening, wasn't it? <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna be premiering a new anime opening for, um, uh, for... I'm basically ponifying another anime opening on Sunday during Shaded Sight Studios panel. Shaded so Sight. That's supposed to be true. So, how are you guys doing today? <laughs> doing good! I am on, I've, I've slept for only three hours. I'm nice. nervous. I'm nervous. Welcome to a convention. It's where people sleep three hours and nothing more. <laughs> so anyway, for those of you who don't know, we are Mystery Brony Theater 4000. We are our Let's Watch series where we watch old MLP episodes and do improvise funny jo jokes at it. My name is Evan Bernardi. I am the director, editor, and actor who portrays the character Evan and Finster on the show. A variety of other stuff. Uh, hi, I'm Evan Higgins. I do Higgins and Gustavo, and I really don't do anything else. That's it. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, I am Jason Roos, the producer of Mystery Brony Theater 4000, and I pretty much do nothing. You do all kinds of stuff. You do all kinds of stuff. You were just entertaining the crowd and you do you did stuff there with the things. Yeah. You just have a logo in the sets and you did some good back, backdrop stuff. Yeah. So, okay. All right. You got me there. Of course. So I lie. Of course. You didn't lie. You're not lying. You're the best person on the planet. You entertain people here by dancing. He just came in there. He was dancing in front of us. So. Last year, 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 we entered up with our first day of Just Doing a Simple Q&A panel. Tomorrow we're going to be, be showing off the new episode where I'm going to, where how many of you guys are coming here tomorrow, first of all? Over here. Okay. If you come back to this panel tomorrow, we're going to be showing the new, epi the new episode and the old episode. But what we're going to do, we're going to tape your reactions to put on our YouTube channel. <laughs> Should I get a bucket hat? Yes. Perhaps mainly because, and a big hint hint here, the, epi the new episode is us watching Gen 3, so you're going to have a good time watching that. Oh, we're going to see Gem in the hologram. <laughs> and I mean, I've already watched the new Gem. It's, I mean, it's not horrible, it's just boring. You, know, you saw Gem in the hologram? I did. Why did you see it? I didn't go to see it. I saw it at Thoughts House when I went up to vote for Ponycon earlier this year. Oh yeah, that reminds me. Um, Higgins is also part of another group, Riff Ponies. Yes. He does it with Thoth and Cal Payne of Gift Quest Daily, who will be also joining us at our panel tomorrow. How did we convince him to do that? I mean, he's just showing up. <laughs> he wants to... He just said he's showing up. He pities us. Because <laughs> <laughs> no, I like us inspire pity. <laughs> Long other things. I don't know. I asked him if, if our producer said it was okay, and next thing you know, he shows me a video of him and... So, uh, if, if, if him, Cal Payne, and him just goofing around the background, just have taken like, what were you, what were you uh, talking I about? I said, uh, Cal Payne, tell me a joke. And he told a joke, a dorky science joke. That's what he does. That's his, those were his words exactly. Go <laughs> science! <laughs> okay, so the way we do this is, la is la for this day we're doing a simple Q&A, because I know everybody's air eager to ask how, how, han how I got so handsome. <laughs> but here's the rules of us. <laughs> he broke your arm. <laughs> yeah, good job fixing it. <laughs> but here's the thing about Q&A panels. Now, this makes it tricky. If you start, if, if we don't start get questions, we start questioning the audience. What? That's great. Yeah, that's how, how are you guys today? Good. Good. Yeah. Eventually. <laughs> At some point. Yes. I agree with the dying. This weekend. Maybe this year. Exactly. Also, I got something to tell you here. I was in my room digging around the other day, and I got this bag of video games that I went out of my room. So I got three DS games here, here that I'm willing to give oh, away. Thanks. You got me a birthday present. Here, take one. <laughs> <laughs> well, you got the one nobody wants. Here, well, like, <laughs> more have like a good time playing Meet the Robinsons. <laughs> like, meet the movie that they're locked. <laughs> So oh, I want to go and You already chose Meet the Robinsons. <laughs> no, you're keeping Meet the Robinsons. You don't want Meet the Robinsons anymore. You got Mario. Yeah, I know. Are you there? There. Okay, so. So I'm going to. The first prize will be here Mario and Luigi Partners in Time. Woo! Right, I'm going to give you. For those of you who came here, here who has seen our show before? Great, the plan is working. So. Uh, <laughs> the I'll answer. Test your knowledge on this one. How many? In the one episode where Zach makes the cheese machine, what kind of cheese does he dispense? Cheese. <laughs> Cheddar. He, he, he's not wrong. The kind of Gouda. Processed thing. Mozzarella. And Kraft American. cheese. Yep. <laughs> 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 yeah, I'm gonna take a deep up there. I'm gonna give you Mario and Luigi part, part of the time. 
Publix off brand. <laughs> what did you say? Publix, Publix off brand. <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh, dude, Path of the Ninja is a sick game. Naruto, <laughs> Shonen Jump, Naruto, Path of the Ninja. DS. Oh my god, it's so my Shonen middle Jump school here. You read the Shonen Jump. <laughs> I've only played it once and I got bored, so. <laughs> What's the point of reading the Path of the Ninja? Not the Path of the Ninja. The Shonen Jump part of the title. Like, you just like, Shonen Jump. Naruto, <laughs> Path of the Ninja. He needs, he needs that revenue. Like, yeah. Exactly. He's he's because Shonen okay. Jump okay. just loves Hey, Ask Shonen your question Jump. from anything from our show, show and see if they know it, and the winner gets, the pa gets Path of Ninja. Who's the best side character? You! You! Yeah. <laughs> side character! Jeez, I didn't know this how you guys felt about me. <laughs> or say you're the best. Well, I'm not a side character, I'm a main character. And I mean, I took this for Applejack. Is Applejack that? is the best side character. She wins. I can win. <laughs> <laughs> Take my dad's win. win that one. God, Jerry! We're gonna explain your prize. Back to Ninja Naruto. Here you go, Ron. Yay! Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> middle school years ago. <laughs> I got another one here. Here for here that I haven't you opened yet. Games and you didn't tell me. <laughs> I have not opened this one. I don't know what it's for. It's called Spectrobe's Origins, and apparently there's four card in, there's four code input cards inside. Collect and trade. I'll treat you. Meet the Robinsons for it. No, you're keeping Meet the Robinsons. Wait, why did you say the game was? Hey, is that the Wii one? Actually, Spectrobe's the, the next prize to Meet the Robinsons. No. <laughs> or like Meet the Jonas Brothers. <laughs> Spectro's Origins. <laughs> okay, Spectro's Origins. Jason, ask him a question of anything in trivia regarding Mystery Bar Theater and the winner gets Spectro's Origins. Not opened. Yeah, do you know you like more the way. Alright, um, let's see, what's a good question? Alright. Anyone? Uh, what? Can't think of one. Ooh. What is the uh, in the episode where the? Do you maybe think of the next one? All right. In the episode where uh, where Higgins gets electrified while trying to get electrified while trying to put together the pop the old popcorn machine. The old popcorn machine. What ep what old pop what old episode do they watch? Yeah, what episode did we watch when he's trying to restore the popcorn machine? More importantly, Which I'm so glad we finally got rid of in that show. I more importantly, why that. you guys uh, watch you beat up on me so much today? Oh. You guys are beating up on me a lot today. Yeah, no, I don't know. You're too <laughs> beautiful to beat up. <laughs> First you give me Meet the Robinsons, then you ask a question about me getting electrified. Yeah, but you're too beautiful to beat up. <laughs> Alright, so anyway, wait, so what was the episode we watched? We premiered it last year as a rerun in the, at the gala. Anybody? It was a G3 episode. Sweetie Bell's Candy. <laughs> <laughs> Sweetie Bell's Candy. Candy. Is that actually an episode? Could it be an episode? It could be. <laughs> somebody, somebody make like a that sounds like a lost episode you see on a creepy pasta. Somebody make like ah! a, a bootleg uh, pony episode yeah, called Sweetie Bell's Candy. Okay, so I'll give them another hint here. The episode had Rarity in it. G3 Rarity, played by uh, Kathy oh, Weston. Runaway Rainbow? Runaway Rainbow. Rainbow. Oh, you, Eric Princess Kitten? Eric is not you here. You win Spectrobe's Origin. It apparently has four code input cards inside. Collect and trade, I bet. All right. Tell bet. your friends. Yes, what are we? Collect with your friends. Yeah, yeah, get back to us and let us know how that collects. I'll have more video games tomorrow. No, you won't. One of, which, one of which includes a uh, series. I'm not going to give any of them, but I'm going to say one of them is Ratchet and Clank 2. Oh my god. Stop going commando! I don't even have a Wii, though. The only console I have is the Wii Wii And yet you saw the movie? Yeah. Hey, guys, give us a, give us a good thought about what you thought of the Ratchet and Clank movie, please. I, li I liked it. I liked it. I liked it. It just, like, I, I haven't played the games. I know what happens when you watch long plays. But, yeah, well, but, it's a good movie. It felt short. Some people might not like it, especially those who don't know anything, any context behind the games themselves. But you haven't played the game, right? Yeah. No. <laughs> Too bad, you're playing Meet the Robinsons. That's not... <laughs> Meet the Robinsons. <laughs> what? Thank you. Please, thank you very much. Yeah. So, I can suppose now the Q&A portion is here. So I'm going to take any questions regarding Mystery Bowie Theater. Anybody have any questions or anything? He's not taking the questions. You can ask us, too. Ah. Does this include okay, money? Okay, Beard. How long does it take you to fit an episode together? The time frame. 
the, Too long. the time frame for the last couple of episodes, including the one we're doing tomorrow, we actually started recording in November. And um, it's all a cooperation of, what, of building everything. And Jason approves the scripts of each episode. And I edit scripts and make them better. So, after which I have to take, we have, it takes a matter of time of just animating all these silhouettes at the bottom, which can get, get very agonizing when you lag and use pre Premiere. But then after that, that, once it's all put together, it's a pretty good product. After that, we just record, we get the script out, record the lines for each one, and then I play the waiting game where everybody turns in their lines. Bada bing, bada boom. Put it out there, wait about a week for Hasbro to shut up, and then boom. That is how Mystery, Mystery Brony Theater comes from. <laughs> bada bing, bada boom. Bada bing, bada boom. Excellent. Okay, I got a question right there. Favorite episode you've put together so far? Favorite episode? I guess we go uh, look the right on this one. Jason, which episode do you do for? Oh, yeah. I've been busy with work. Well, I mean, when you're not Honestly, busy, you just like just go home, chill out, watch an episode of Mystery Girl, because that's what you would do when you get home. Exactly, you need your daily dose of MBT 4K a day, otherwise you get rashes. <laughs> you need an MBT 4K a day. Ooh, you work at Epcot five days a week. Disney World K is a good way oh, to yeah, stress. Awesome Higgins, what would be your favorite? As a custodial. <laughs> me? Oh, okay, okay, then your job sucks. Higgins, uh, what's your we favorite episode? We feel sorry for you. Let's see. My favorite episode. What is it? Uh, are we talking like in terms of memorability or just ones that were fun for me to record lines or which ones I hated your script so much that I changed it? What are we talking about here? What is your favorite episode of Mr. Bobby? <laughs> <laughs> um... If I had to pick an episode, uh, I don't know, the first one that comes to mind is Baby It's Cold Outside. Oh yes, that was the first episode you were on. I mean, yeah, it was my debut, but I mean, The, the Crown is just such a memorable thing for me. I like that. Yeah, it was, it was a memorable. It's a start milestone, I guess, even though it was only my first episode. It was a start of your YouTube career. Yeah. Um, for me, Aside from editing each one and getting a laugh out of listening to the old recordings, my favorite episode of all time would have to be... Oh boy, it's, it's a tie between Newborn Cuties or the last episode where I'm freaking out at that God knows what is pony that used to, that legitly scared me. What? You know, the one, um, Battle of the Bands. Oh. Funny story, I was actually talking to, Ke to uh, Kelly Sheridan at the photography booth just a couple of hours ago. Wait, there's a photography booth? Yeah, I there's mean, one. for, like, the autographs? Yeah, yeah. Um, oh, I thought it was for, like, cosplay. At this, at this panel, uh, Peter New is uh, doing a sign in there, it's three bucks. But yeah, I was talking to Kelly Sheridan and asked her about what she was like, what, about what it was like doing the voice of Melody. She was about 13 years old when she recorded the, vo the voices for that. It was really amazing. So, um, uh, any other questions? Any other questions there? Okay, yeah. Which one would be, the, which one, like, of the episodes you've done was the hardest to, you know, riff on? The hardest to riff on? Yeah. Whoa. Um, anything that's actually good, in a sense. <laughs> There's kind of ones that are, like, you know, the ones that are kind of boring where nothing really happens and you don't really have a lot to There is those, but it's always harder to riff on something that's good as opposed to something that's bad. So, anything that's really good in a sense we probably struggled a bit more to come up with some kind of jokes with stuff like that yeah like in the um tomorrow's episode so there was a point like at the end where there's this like long period of silence and it, which i don't want to spoil anything but there was uh, some hard stuff there but one of the things that was actually hard to riff on that was actually too good was when we did rescue at midnight castle mm -hmm. so ways 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 back that's not even up anymore Oh yeah, it's on Facebook. You can watch that episode on Facebook because, you know, Hasbro won't shut know, up. That, that's the, everyone's favorite site to watch you, uh, videos on. Mm. Okay, okay, I'm, links videos. I'm not, it's truth, it's true fact though. And that's not word for word what he said. Well, people are watching the live videos now. Okay, so, yeah, yeah, it would either be that or if there's anything hard to sit through, it was Newborn Cuties 1. It was only like 10 minutes. Man. I don't care. 
Ooh. It was ten minutes of pure torture. And it had, it had an anime-esque silence in it as well. <laughs> really? yeah, yeah. Sweetie Belle's like big bulbous eyes. I wasn't even in that episode. Oh, that one was hilarious. What do you think yeah, it is? Just that stare, that stare oh, that... It, oh, that stare. That stare. You know what Cameron so says in that episode? It's like Moshi Moshi Sweetie Belle does. <laughs> well, I mean, that's what he does. Yeah, that... that if you actually you remember seeing the trick, like the Cameron. Of course, when he realized that that was just like a promo that came with a toy, it kind of makes sense why they didn't put like any effort into it. Well, the Gen 4 ponies did look, have that look for some time in the beginning, if you remember the old baby pony mm -hmm. toys. Oh, yeah. It, the stare is like horrific. I actually, if you no, guys remember I actually the... remember making like this one spray where it had a... Uh, that G3 newborn cutie sweetie bell just with flames. Oh yeah, <laughs> I, um, because one of them was set, them said it, what, they, she could see one of them breathe fire and spit acid and I just put that down there. Oh yeah, one I, of think, them, I think one of them just said, I will devour your soul. Yeah, like I was going to actually do a, a thing, a version of that, I was going to take that entire thing and make, and since their mouths don't move, I was going to have every single one of them like breathe fire. One of the best, if you ever, you know that uh, one song by Iron Maid, The Number of the Beast, where it has that narration at the beginning, it's like, uh, um, no. this is a, uh, was it? Woe unto you, oh man! Uh, when I see the beast comes with wrath. <laughs> it's, it's just this like dramatic narration. Just under that, just put that picture there. It kind of works. I'll be sure there. I actually started moving, doing the images, but because I thought it was really distracting. Unlike the giant text on the bottom that says "Check us out on Facebook" that appears once in a while there. <laughs> anyway, any other questions? Anybody questions? I have one. Okay, rainbow dash thing. No. <laughs> God, Roger. 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 <laughs> Ridge Racer. Ridge Racer. Ridge Racer. <laughs> Ridge Racer. What is the question? Oh, is there ever going to be a musical episode? <laughs> yes. Where you all sing your reactions. <laughs> yes. <laughs> oh, yes. <laughs> Can confirm right now, breaking the NDA that he didn't make me sign because we don't have that. KP. Because he's the KP. <laughs> <laughs> There's going to be so many KP jokes here. We need to do a musical episode. <laughs> what, you want me to sing? What, you want me to like? Well, I mean, you already can't sing, so... Stop smelling flowers! There you go. You got it. That nice. would be brilliant. Funny thing is, um, Runaway Rainbow was originally supposed to have a musical opening tribute to Moulin Rouge, the movie, but we just didn't have the time to record it. <laughs> I can't remember, it was like really abysmal, but it was a, but it was a, it was a beta idea. You're really abysmal. Mm -hmm. Damn. You're a beta, a beta idea. Burn. Shots fired. Burn. Got him. Okay, so. Any other, any other questions? Anybody out there? Okay. Speaking of which, do you know where KP keeps her staff hostage? I don't know. Why don't you ask the beginning of his video that he played before? Which mm. obviously had something going on there. What? <laughs> well, that's why we brought him KP. Oh, there you yeah. go. Where does that's she keep her staff hostage? On your video. Um, are you KP's all my video, All my video, apparently. Are you, are you, are you part of KP's staff? You, did you no. sign that contract? Okay, good. <laughs> yeah. Actually, it was Do you want to be? Yeah, you, you got the contract. <laughs> <laughs> you got it right. The actual physical thing. That was your chance to become a, a, like a you know a slave. A slave. slave. Yeah. You can become a slave, Bernardi. Just, Just you've always wanted. Right? Right? Yeah, because because of you. Yeah, because of you. I'm already living to the Tostino's lifestyle. Well, at least you'll admit it. Tostino's is life. I can admit it. Yes. Honestly. Tostino's is life. It's a. I have a secret. I am Pizza Totino's boy. Oh, I, th I thought you were going to say like... You put like, some rolls in your mouth? <laughs> Five <laughs> times a day. Thank you. Honestly, though, we... It's for the next episode, you'll see. Anyway, any other questions? Yes, we'll take any other questions. Hey, Bernardi, can you give me a sick beat? Do it. You said I'll spit some I'll bars. Some Do it. Holes in my mouth. <laughs> 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 I like how Jason is over there wondering what the heck would. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is this great thing. It's yeah. called Pizza Free Two Night. It's, it's like, like Tim. A, wasn't it like Tim and Eric? It's Tim and Eric, and they did like this thing for Totino's Pizza Rolls, and yeah. just made this entire skit. All right, so. so it's around pizza rolls and party pizza. It was always a good time there. Okay, any other questions? Let's <laughs> take any questions. Okay, yeah. Can you guys dab for me? Can we what? I dab for you. Yeah. Do it again. <laughs> I, I apologize for his behavior. He doesn't know how to dab. Like, no, 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 sure, sure. No. No. We, we do that. Do that. <laughs> there, he's dabbing. You did it. You did it. Oh. <laughs> what am I doing here? I don't know. Oh. Now 
you have to look down at yeah, your elbow. Yeah, look down. Look down at your elbow. Yeah, there you go. Little there you go. to your elbow. Sick, beautiful. Sick <laughs> I want to take a picture of this. I don't know what I'm doing. I don't know what I'm doing. Well, this is doing it too. This is like the perfect photo op. Hold right? on, oh, no, wait. People, take pictures, please. <laughs> Five, four, three, two, one. Did you say iCarly? There we go. We got it. We got it. Uh, Who he, he, he is. <laughs> I got it. I got it. Is this like the thing from the Night of the Museum thing? Boom, boom, firepower. Pretty much. Okay, I got. Okay, I'm gonna ask get a question from him. Speaking of dabbing, there, someone has gotten a video of in a Nickelodeon parade of Squidward doing a quick dab. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Squidward, 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 dab. <laughs> he doesn't turn Shut up. <laughs> Any other questions out there? Okay, Rainbow. Are you guys gonna do an iCarly episode? Uh, totally. An iCarly episode. <laughs> totally. Totally. I kind of find that hard to beat. Believe it or not, um, believe it or not, iCarly was actually one of the inspirations for me getting into video making. Wow. <laughs> Can I be honest? Say, say, say. Yeah. I made my YouTube channel because of iCarly. Yeah, we all did. It, it started. It was a good show. It started off. It started off good. Had a good run yeah. and ended on a perfect note. Yeah. Okay. Next question. Uh, okay. <laughs> I give up. Anyway. <laughs> any other questions? Next question. Uh, I'll stop it and give me Crystal Pepsi. Mm. You're just trying to get this Crystal Pepsi on my hands, right? I'm trying to get a new one. Oh, you guys, you actually have the Crystal Pepsi? Aren't there enough Crystal Pepsis? Where'd you get it from? 1995? I'm sorry? Aren't there enough Crystal Pepsis for everyone in the room? Yo. What if what if I were to bring a cup? Would you give me some? Well, actually, uh, run and get cups. I don't know. This whole thing will probably fill a village. It'll probably feed a village for about one Wait, month. Wait, actually, so. I'm curious. How does it taste? Don't actually go get. How does it taste? Yeah. <sighs> the funny thing is, when I was asking them before, how many of you guys saw the Gallup promo with the uh, Peter News announcement? How many of you saw that? No, I haven't seen that. Well, I think I have. In the background, there's a pony in the background with a sign that says "Bring back Crystal Pepsi." <laughs> oh my and, god! Um, he actually got a cup. Later, yo. Later, there was a hook me up. There was a um. Ad saying they were bringing it back only for a short time, and then I heard rumors saying it was coming back in summer. So I have, so the next promo has a has a sign with the pony pony holding the sign that says, "See, it worked." That says, "Hot, it worked." <laughs> so um, I was driving to the gal yesterday, it and worked. we stopped, stopped, and I'm going in the convenience store after getting some gas for my buddy because I'm paying, and I see this in there, and I look at the cat at the guy stacking the shelves, and I'm like, "Sir, is what I'm holding real?" <laughs> so I grab as many as I can. We get five dollars worth of Crystal Pepsi, and that was the and that's. That's how I got this. Did it come with an AOL disc? There's <laughs> <laughs> 500 free hours of America from Online. <laughs> I would have taken that from him. Yo, I does have, it taste good? I, just, I yeah. have. It tastes like it's basically like Sprite, only it's like it, it's it like Sprite like Pepsi. Pepsi. It's invisible soda. <laughs> <laughs> you got a cup. Get over here. Get over here. Oh, yo, I'll give me a free some. sample. I'll give, give me a free sample of this. Just because you got a cup. You pour, pour it in there, fancy. Right now, you're gonna be the most popular person in the room. Roger, no, Roger, 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 love you. Give me a little bit. I do kind of owe him. Let me try that shit. <laughs> what in the Let him have some. Let me try that. Shit. <laughs> Congratulations, you are now the most popular person in the room. Okay, I am time. too, bro. So, um, where did you get this Crystal Pepsi at? Pick the park. Where was this convenience? Right now, everybody's now focused on the Crystal Pepsi instead of the show. <laughs> crystal Pepsi Theater 4000. Hey! <laughs> Congratulations, my character will be replaced with Crystal Pepsi, his will be Sprite. You can, and you win Meet the Robinsons. <laughs> <laughs> you win Meet the Robinsons. Stop trying to give it away, it's your game now. Meet the Robinsons. Just pretend it's You look like this old guy down here that's looking for his teeth. Wait, <laughs> are you guys sponsored by Pepsi? No. Crystal Pepsi. I wish. I Crystal Pepsi. Crystal Pepsi. I, I want... We need to get strike a deal with Pepsi so we can get Pepsi Man on the show. Oh. Yo! Yes! Yo! That would be hilarious! I can't because I'm pretty convinced that either me, that one of the guys on the show is the fat guy from that game. <laughs> <laughs> Pepsi Man. Pepsi for pizza. These people, they're about to ride if they don't get their Pepsi. <laughs> that game was funny looking. I love Pepsi Man. Wait, did you see the intro? Some of them was like, Pepsi Man? It's just the guy dancing. Yeah. Right there. Okay, next question. Next Question. Anybody questions? I have a question for them. Cool. How many of you have played Meet the Robinsons? Yo. No. <laughs> How many of you liked Meet the Robinsons? No. Saw the movie. You guys can have it. Yeah. No way. I'm gonna make this simple. I'm gonna make this easy. I'm gonna make this easy and interesting. Thank you. 
Exactly. Funny thing is, I actually played that game once, and they have a, and it's a, it's a first-person shooter game. What? One of the, one of the, what? Guns, one of the, what? 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 This way, this way, it gets better. What? Um, if you guys remember the movie, you know the fight, the, the meatball fight they have at dinner. Yes. Yeah. There's yeah. one gun in there that is made, that allows you to shoot meatballs. But there's, but it does no damage. <laughs> and literally, the description is this gun does no does no damage for people who like to fling around meatballs. Wow. <laughs> I kid you not. I mean, I think if the scene was based around throwing meatballs, they give you a gun that so you can throw meatballs with it. You know, yeah. it's a first person shoot. They're gonna give you a meatball gun. I don't know, it looks like a hair dryer in this game. You look like a hair dryer. Oh, I remember from that game was very long and confusing. Okay, next question. Open the next question here. Anybody here? Okay. I'm trying to think of something. What did we miss? What did you miss? I, oh, um, let me see. We had a large rave. We, what? Jesus appeared. Oh. <laughs> right here! You don't have the beard anymore, you don't count. Jason I'm danced. It back. Jason was dancing. I'm not gonna lie, he really was dancing. Jason's a good dancer. Damn, the beard back. I missed a lot. Shit. But yeah, like, I was showing the. Death Note Shimmer, as well as the at soup thing that I opened every panel with last time. At soup? Yeah. Oh, I'm at soup. <laughs> I'm at soup! <laughs> soup. I'm at <laughs> loved co loved Kobe Mint. Kogi is my favorite anime of all time. I'm gonna just hit that Crystal Pepsi out of your hand. I'm gonna drench you with this Crystal Pepsi in just one moment. Please, please. <laughs> <laughs> you have been blessed. Oh my god, you did. You have been blessed by the Pepsi. <laughs> I am. You can just get Pepsi, Pepsi man. You got blessed. Absorbing the power. Chug, 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 <laughs> yeah, no, I do not want to activate my windows right now. Yes, you do. I don't want to activate windows. I yes, you do. You don't have to give me the key code. There's no key code. He says old laptop. You owe me a favor. My old laptop? You mean one of my mini laptops? I collect. Yeah, he collects laptops. Okay, How many laptops okay. do you have? Like 20. I'm not even joking. He does. He does. <laughs> No, I, I, I do. Jason, you have a laptop, do you? Uh, no. No Max yeah. yet. <laughs> <laughs> I don't have Your a laptop. Your collection is not complete. Why do you have a laptop? I was insane. You need to get more. Why do you have a laptop? I don't Mm -hmm. What did you ask? Okay, okay, next question. Well, tomorrow's, <laughs> well, tomorrow's panel will actually be you three playing me for Robinson while drinking Crystal Pepsi. Absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> will tomorrow's panel involve us playing Meet the Robinsons while drinking yes. Crystal Peppy? Yo, um, Peppy, Peppy, is that like from that new that new game, that new eighties looking game that we go to an arcade? Is that, instead of Pepsi, it gives you Peppy. <laughs> I'm not even joking. It's, it's called Peppy. Peppy. It's actually called Peppy in the game. Is it that what new Sonic game? game? I know what you're talking about. Uh, uh, what was it? Um... <laughs> I don't know, Vine Sauce played it. Uh, okay, question right there. Continuing the speech about Pepsi Man, I feel like Pepsi Man, now that I think about it, spawned the generation of endless runners. <laughs> he also inspired Sonic Adventure 2. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> 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 okay, so, so any other questions there? Whether it's about my good looks or not. Okay, Seth Rogen, right over there. Are Brandon Cousins Cousin 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 We've talked. We, we've discussed this before. Jason, I discussed this with you, didn't I, about redoing some of the old stuff? Mm, yeah, probably. Tell me again. You're coming here tomorrow, right? Yeah. You'll be. You'll be. You know, so you're going to be pretty surprised at one point of the episode. Um, but to go back there, um, when I started doing the motion video for Newborn Cuties, it was really choppy and disgusting. Like at one point, if you watch the thing, you can see see my head slowly rising off the seat. You see like the breaking point right there. But I would honestly love to go back and redo uh, Princess Promenade. I think uh, I've talked about it before, but you know, one that I kind of missed out on that I really wanted to do was uh, I kind of really wanted to do Rescue at Midnight Castle, but that's taken down now, so I don't really see a chance of that happening. You know, but who knows? Maybe one day in the future that could happen. Hasbro has spared us. 
before. Jason, what episode do you think I should redo? Mm. All of them. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. <laughs> <laughs> now I'm gonna have fun with this Bob. <laughs> 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 Any thoughts? Uh, I'm not sure on that. I'll have to rewatch. I'm pretty unicorn. <laughs> Yo, that's how you do it. Yeah, that's how I do it. So, I remember, I would say Princess Promenade would be probably the best one for me. But yeah, I'd like to do one. I actually made a post on Facebook one day saying I would like to re-record Princess Promenade with uh, Dave and Cameron and uh, Zach one day. Cameron responds said he was up to it. Side, side note, Zach and uh, Fed can appear today they due to some reasons, so... They apologize and they want to thank you guys for watching the show. Those of you. Um, any questions? Any other questions here? I will take questions. Questions here. Cadence. Um, was Princess Promenade kind of hard to do? Because that one was mellow. Because it was kind of boring, you know. Well, a lot less happened. For what? Our riffing or the? Yeah, for the riffing. Okay. Um, the way. The reason why is because I didn't have have time to emote. It was the first episode, so it was a pilot. But the problem was when we were recording it, my parents were sleeping in the other room, and I had to, oh. and I couldn't scream loud enough. So at at some points of the video, you can hear the audio clearly like redone at some points. <laughs> it's funny because I remember actually showing it showing it to Jason on the day like the day before we premiered at a comic shop, mm. and um, we. But yeah, basically, Princess Promenade, I would like to redo for that reason. There were some stuff there, but we wanted to do it because it was the thing that inspired Friendship is Magic, so, yeah. Mm -hmm. Was there anyone here who actually went to the um, uh, showing at a comic shop a few years back? Mm -hmm. See how popular we are? <laughs> no, no. <laughs> I wasn't even on the show, I count, at the time. Well, you were... I wasn't on the show at the time when that, when that screened. That was uh, David in my place, but uh, I did go to that meetup. I missed it. Look, so, you said Rainbow earlier, and now he's here. Rainbow, what's up? Yo, what's up? Sign me up. A wild Rainbow Dash appeared. <laughs> you, got master, master. you guys have to master ball for this one. Here, you can have this crystal no. Pepsi bottle. <laughs> Woo! You have been blessed. <laughs> take the side up. I have collected it. Okay, any other questions? In that bag. Okay. I'll take I'll any questions. Questions. questions about how I look so good. Questions about how Higgins looks more and more like Jesus. <laughs> how, do you, how do you get your hair to stay so fluffy and beautiful? I wash it. <laughs> <laughs> Perfectly done. You okay. might be honest. Right back there. <laughs> try that. Got a skull Someone write this down. Is this the Bluetooth uh, yeah. headset functional? Is this thing functional? Yes. I'm pi picking up some alien life form from on Jupiter, so I would say yes. <laughs> this is a sneaking mission. <laughs> yeah, so everywhere are you looking, you're going to see me constantly doing this like a so like Solid Snake's codec. <laughs> Just tell them that you're at the soup store. Out of cost. What's with you and Higgins on the horn? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> the ultimate question. debate. Horn down right back there. Uh, <laughs> yeah, it's one for him. Yeah. This is a new uh, Jack and Queensman shirt, right? Yes. All right. What Good is the best and why is it slop? <sighs> Man, you know you got me in a corner there. I mean, I can't really argue with that, but. Hmm. Yeah, I can't really argue with that. Let's do, I have a question for this guy. What's, uh, what, what's, uh, what's your favorite album of Brendan's in general? Brendan's uh, I don't know. It's like, it has to be a topic of doing a task for that one. And I'm um, doing vibes. Oh, um, it's the Stone World, I think. Yeah. It's listen to a lot of Brendan. Yeah. I know what that yeah, is. Yeah, I like the Ancient Artifact like, uh, Artist Studio. Yes, yes. Good album. Right. It's music stuff. You, you, yeah, you would understand. <laughs> I would not understand. <laughs> oh, okay. Want me to put it back? No. Yeah. Back back. Okay, next question. Anybody else there? Okay, right back there. Seth Rogen. <laughs> <laughs> if anybody that you would like to have guests on the show at some point. Has anybody messed? What was the question? Is for anyone you'd like to guest on the show at one point or another? Is there anybody we'd want to guest on the show at one point or another? I'm going to let Jason fill this one yeah. between. <laughs> well, there have been times when there have been, I believe there have been times when we had guests on the show. But I think they're asking more so along the like lines if we, of, if we were to get anybody if you were show, to get someone new your to choice. be a guest on the show, who would it be? Who would you think that we should get for something like that? Mm -hmm. Well, uh, 
You do what you want. I love you too, Jason. It's okay. I'd resurrect the corpse of Benjamin Franklin. <laughs> See, now who wouldn't watch that? <laughs> I would watch that. If there was, personally, if there was anybody on Your personal that. choice, who would be well, your favorite uh, person to have on there? Well, uh, well probably, uh, the... Well, there's actually, uh, there are some plans. Well, I'll give a hint that we do have plans for a special guest coming in a future episode. Ooh. 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 Oh, I won't yeah. say who, but, Ooh. but it will be at this, this, this season, 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 fin season be on the season finale. It'll be one that you'll be dying to see. Oh boy. Super secret. Anyway, I'm uh. Higgins. What about you, Higgins? If you were to have anyone on the show, who would you want on there? If I were to have anyone, it'd be Roger. Hey. What? Hey. See this guy. Hey. Hey. Let's go. Aside there, um, for other guests out there, outside the community, like I said, we want to like get more of the community guests in there, there to help us out when needed. Like when we did the opening episode, Joey or Peza, Peza gave us some, gave us some good help there, as well as bright ideas and um. Oh, she's in the audience right over there. Yes, I am bright idea. She's, a, she's, she's probably uh, she's going to be joining me on my panel on Sunday at Shadeside Studios. Where I'll be premiering Red's Magical Adventure and um, the new uh, Pony anime parody opening. Female voices, that's me. You're amazing. But um, uh, and we also got Webcake, who I met during the production of a fanfic project I do not want to even talk about. So anyway, with that, <laughs> next question. Flourishize <laughs> baby. <laughs> <laughs> I've shown the poster for it in, the, in one episode. I'm not going to tell you which one because I don't want you to watch it. But like, um, I'll tell them. No, spiders is. <laughs> and you wouldn't dare. I'll Just, put you in the bed. Don't you dare. Do it. 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 Do me think. Okay, what Caden's back there. So do you like uh, just is this uh, something that came from like ripping just you know normal just or, well not normal but just like uh, other like bad movies and stuff that kind of went to that? Like from this thing, um, which yeah, did believe it or not, Mystery Bride Theaters. You want to know know the reason why Mystery Bride Theater started? What? It's because I was bored one night. No, yeah, yeah, this guy. But no, Jason Jason Ruth was the guy who came up with the idea. Yeah. So have you ever done like rips on bad movies before? Or? Uh, no, I just came up with the idea. I was actually going to originally call it My Little Brony Three Fast, and, and, and he came up with a better name, and mm -hmm. and him and I just Glad. together made it into a better name, and then we worked together, and suddenly, but, boom! Mm -hmm. it just, In terms of watching bad movies before. It, yeah. it was. We um, have seen a bunch of bad movies. Like I remember one time I saw uh, Plan Nine from Outer Space. I think it was. <laughs> it was the rich better. Yes. It was, yes. No, man. Yeah, I would, I'm not gonna say Manos because Manos was the greatest movie I've ever seen on the planet. Yeah, I mean <laughs> it's the amazing bulk actually. What are you feeling? Uh, November's actually gonna be the fifth, uh, the fiftieth anniversary of that movie, and they're making a sequel called Manos Returns. Oh my goodness. Uh, the master from who has, has seen Manos: The Hands of Fate. Everybody there. Anybody? I haven't seen it, but I've heard it's really um, scary. For the one guy in the audience, uh, the master is still alive and with us, and we're actually friends with the little girl from that movie on oh, Facebook. Wow. The master's in the new movie. Yeah, he's gonna be in the new movie, and he looks fantastic. He does. He looks it's great. great. Huh. I feel fantastic. May Torgo rest in peace. Next question. Bright ideas. How long did the? Uh, how short did uh, one of the episodes? Um, how long did it take? Uh, the easiest one. The easiest one to ever make. Yeah. The easiest episode to ever make. The, all the ones before. Next question. Yeah. <laughs> Pretty much um, the easiest ones to make was, was the older ones because it was just a still image down there. Again, mm. but before me. Mm. Before the God himself. Right. No, yeah. he's Jesus. He's the son of God. Uh, I can be God. also one. God because of, you know, Trinity Jason's God. Oh. I believe it. And you have Seth Rogen over here, so it's a whole circle. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know Seth Rogen. I got another good question. Next question. Anybody, next question. Okay, here. Okay, so have you ever considered doing a Hannah Montana episode because he could play the brother? Because he looks just like Jackson, Jackson Stewart. 
Jackson you, Stewart. You are, you are Jackson you Stewart. You are asking you're Jackson the greatest, Stewart. You're asking the right questions. Thank right you, right. sir. I'm going to be playing with that joke with that joke for the rest of the gala. Cool. <laughs> you're also going to be playing with your horn. <laughs> Whoa, man. Those, Daddy. That is lost so your cool. horn. Bro. You lost your horn privileges. I'm going back on top of the hat. I'm going back to pretty rhinoceros Evan Bernardi. <laughs> now it's fixed. <laughs> <laughs> um, Hannah Montana, I play not fair to watch it. I mean, it's all that well. I'm not looking for good. It's It could be the musical episode. What could we have to if we trade seeds? He's just gonna. Yeah. It's gonna be more distracting because he'll go or he'll actually like be sit in the corner like more like that guy from Blair Witch. Well, you could sit in the corner. I can't believe they're sequelizing that movie, honestly. Yeah, <laughs> they are. Yeah, they're gonna sequelize it. Wait, another one? Well, it's kind of like a remake, make, and based on seeing the documentary, why how was there a two? There was a Blair Witch two, and it was terrible. Well, then why is there a three? Uh -huh. Whatever. There was a Blair Witch video saying, game, I know that. <laughs> I'm not even kidding, there was a real game there. Yeah, it's I love that movie. It's okay, next Mita question, Robinson. anybody, question. It could be about anything. It's called Meet the Robinsons. It's called Meet the Robinsons, <laughs> Blair Witch 3. <laughs> <laughs> Who's familiar with uh, Lucio Fulci's uh, zombie series? Like Zombie 1, Zombie 2? Lucio, like from Overwatch? <laughs> Let's break it down. Yeah. Let's break Apparently it twin, down. Twins plays a part in that episode because somewhere it's called Zombie 42, Two Times the Death. Wow. That's not even a joke. Look it up on IMDb uh, as for Twins alternate title. One of it says Edge Zombie 42. I bet you main Bastion. <laughs> what? I don't play Overwatch. That's, that's something a game. Bastion main would say. Ooh. 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 Damn, dude. Whatever that means. You more. got roasted. <laughs> Overwatch? More like overhyped. Oh. 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 That sounds like something a Bastion main would say. <laughs> <laughs> actually, I feel bad for him on Overwatch. I mean, I mean, he. He's stupid enough to actually pay for Team Fortress 2. Ooh. Oh, oh man, at least my game gets updated and has a good competitive. Oh, oh. that's a blow up in their face. Everybody got burn heal. Damn. <laughs> Somebody called the burn unit. You can't argue with that. Apply Sanders. cold water to burn <laughs> area. Are you Sam, Sam, Salabim. Yeah. <laughs> Next question. But you don't stand the payload. Huh? The payload. Yeah, dude. You don't stay on the payload. You're like or the objective. running around. Okay, okay, Rainbow Dash. From start to finish, how long does it make you take? The, how much time does it take you guys to make an episode? I think it was too third. long. <laughs> See, that sounds yeah. accurate. Yeah. Have you seen the new? Um, you should be releasing monthly. Highlight for if I had the chance to time. Yeah. Yeah. How about you stop editing? Right? End of life. <laughs> I, I can't stop editing. So yes, like you can. I'll take it. I used to be once a month. You know. Yeah, yeah. All this. It was. Uh, it was basically. It's for the point thing for doing this. Yeah. Yeah. Right. It depends on what the uh, on a time there, but basically, and I would say it would take about three thousand years. Oh, 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 like yes, grief indeed. Oh, I saw that. I'll answer the next question. Yes, I'm okay. And the other really? question, no, it did not make me look any less pretty. Like okay, next question then. It makes you look a lot more graceful. It's awesome. Graceful dice. Tracer. Uh, next question. Oh, jeez. That's cool. Okay, uh, the movies? <laughs> I gotta see all the emails. The which Ghostbusters movie? 2016. I haven't seen the it new yet. I haven't seen it yet. I didn't really have a problem with it. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sorry. Here's my thing with the new Ghostbusters movie. It was announced years ago, and I'm and I find it sad. People are we're making a big deal of it when the first trailer came out. Mm -hmm. I haven't seen it. I heard it's a decent movie, but you know. Was Technically, okay. the made a Ghostbusters was a movie. movie. It's, it's called the video game. That's the good one. Yeah, that's the good one. Jason didn't want the third Ghostbusters. Didn't like the third Ghostbusters movie. He hadn't seen it though. It, it just seen the nostalgia's tricks review. Yep. My problem with the new Ghostbusters movie, it, it was not even close to the source material. There was no gorilla to be seen. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Honestly. You guys have no taste in the original Ghostbusters. Mm. Stay put, like Marshmallow Man. I don't like shot. Ghostbusters, period. I haven't seen it forever. The original one? The original one's good. I didn't like the second one. For those, of you, for those of you who like the second one, I apologize. Beware of the Stay Puft Marshmallow Man. Yeah. <laughs> Avoid. Next question. Fix your horn. <laughs> I said fix it. 
Fix it. Your horns all flopple. <laughs> I fixed it. <laughs> just put it as your nose. It's like I go a uh, high pat, like put it on as a high pat. <laughs> Evan, are you okay? Do you like need some medication to keep that uh, straight up in there? I got super glue in my back. You can just do that. <laughs> that sounds more Do you have medication to keep it straight? Watch that a little What's uh? Screw it. I'm gonna get my screw my horn to. I'm just gonna take this off. Oh, can I wear it? Let him wear it. Wear it. Jason, oh. there you go. Oh. Can I <laughs> Jason, you look awesome. <laughs> He's contemplating life. Like the right. Oh, who it is it? Yeah. Oh. How does it feel? That answers that. I do that to myself. Jason, how do you feel? Mm-hmm. Feels empty. Magical. He mm. looks empty. Yeah. Life is empty. I feel. <laughs> like so. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> Looking sharp. Going back to that first question, sharp. Jason was the guy who came up with Mystery Brony Theater, and yeah. Okay, next question. Next question. Next uh, question. What game? What? What? What's your favorite video game? I guess. Favorite video game of all time. Um, Wipeout HD Fury. Hey. 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 Wow. I recently finished up. Is that on Steam? No. no Jason, what's your? What would your favorite game be? Uh, Disney Infinity. But then they Evan, isn't yours like E.T. from the old school? <laughs> Atari E.T., bro? E.T. was a magical experience. It was me. the greatest game yeah. ever known to man. I remember playing it on Game Boy Advance. <laughs> <laughs> it was so you good got the that port? it... You Lucky? <laughs> no, there really was an E.T. video game on Game Boy Advance. Dude, oh. confusing. it was... Uh, E.T. was so good, it crashed the game market. <laughs> My favorite game of all time. I just, I'm still trying to beat the genocide run in Undertale, which I've been getting into. And oh, um, I've seen him treating you. What's your favorite anime? Do you want to have a bad time? <laughs> want to have a bad time, bro? have a bad time with you, Rainbow Dash. <laughs> oh, whoa! Um, we, have a be- we have another question from Roger. Roger. What's your favorite Ambio? I don't know what that is. Ambio. Oh, an Ambio. Think about it, Ambio. It's an Ambio oh, film. Oh, hell yeah! Yeah! Oh, my Amiibo. My favorite Amiibo. Um, Amiibo. Dude, it's, ob- it's obviously the Sonic you one. Hey. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> oh, yes. Is it Sonic? Sonic. Does it have to you be officially licensed Sonic. by Nintendo? Well, I mean, no. Sonic no, should be officially, be officially licensed. How many of you guys Sonic. went to MegaCon this year? Mm. Anybody else, MegaCon? Nope. Have How many of you have went to a convention and familiar with a guy named Sexy Mario? No, I don't. Yes, I love that guy. Mario. Look him up, look him up. He's my favorite amiibo. <laughs> oh my god. With the plunger and the red. Pikachu is my favorite amiibo. Okay, Fluttershy. What was your favorite fandom before My Little Pony? My favorite fandom before My Little Pony? Your favorite? Um... Wow. Um... Before My Little Pony, I was never really into much fandoms. I was more of like an anime fan. Well, then what? So you were in the what anime fandom. Anime? I was in the anime mm-hmm. fandom. Anime. 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 I'm in the anime like fandom. Anime. What about you? Were you any fans of any fandoms? I, I was one of those those cancerous Sonic fans. Hell! <laughs> <laughs> you, know, you are on DVR, it makes sense. Look up Evan the Hedgehog, see what comes it's up. It's a good portfolio. <laughs> I don't use it anymore. Jason, were you part of any fandoms before the Brony fandom? Uh, yeah, I was in the anime. You were going anime? I am Amadou. Favorite anime of all time right here, Code Geass. No! Cowboy Bebop, up. get out. <laughs> no, you get out! Adventure. Oh. Cowboy Bebop's impossible no, to hate. No, my, my favorite anime is Rosario Vampire. Oh. My Brian is a mermaid. Wait, did you guys see Space Dandy? Different story. Yes. yes. <laughs> but like, JoJo's Bizarre yes. Adventure is the best. Yes. Oh, I can't oh. disagree with that. Hold on, hold on. JoJo's Bizarre Adventure. I tried watching JoJo. JoJo. Yeah, I tried watching JoJo. I just couldn't follow it too well. Uh, uh, Kono Dio da XD. Kono Dio da Re. I don't know what that means. But bit... That's because you watched it dubbed. You got something against Johnny Young Bosch's voice? I have something against Johnny Young Bosch. He's the best voice actor in anime. Um, a show of hands if you agree. Who? Johnny Young Bosch is the best voice actor in anime. Who does he voice? Um, let me see. Who did he voice? He did um, Bash the Stampede and Trigun, Lelouch v. Britannia and Code Geass. I think he was in Free. He, um, what else did he do? He was, jo- he was Jojo in uh, Jojo's Bizarre Adventure. Which Jojo? Yeah. Which Jojo? Uh, Which Jojo? The original one, uh, Jonathan Which Jojo? Joestar. Yeah, Jonathan. Jonathan Joestar. Um, what else did John Young Bosch did a lot of stuff. He was a Power Ranger. 
Yeah. That's awesome. I like that guy. You know what's my favorite? Jojo? You know what's my favorite? Did you say Jojo or Jar Jar? Jojo. He asked me what my favorite Jojo character was, so I post a picture of the lion from Jojo Circus, and he's like, no, Jojo's Bizarre Adventure. I'm like, oh. He with red eyes. And vampire fools. Okay, it is, okay, we have time for one more question. Can I get a collective aura aura from everyone? Final question, I'm going to him. You said you're uh, doing an Undertale Genocide run. How can you live your How can you live with yourself after killing Papyrus? Yeah, do your. Yeah. Oh, uh, it's simple. You erase the timeline and go back and do the uh, Tubestus again. Papyrus's death. How do I describe that? It was very hard to do. You eat the spaghetti to forget either regretty. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> that was pretty depressing. The, mo the character I really didn't like, like when was Metaton. Yeah. I love Metaton. Yeah. He's my favorite character. Well, I mean, in don't yeah. kill the fashion. Do you still want to be in his fan club or not? I would love to be in Metacon. Oh, uh, Metacon? Metacon. Metacon. <laughs> that's <laughs> that's, that's his convention. <laughs> We should have a Metacon. We just came up with the Undertale that shouldn't happen. Metacon. <laughs> <laughs> There'd be way too many Metatons everywhere. We have Brunicon, we're, we're fine. Chill. I can play his theme. He's my most relatable character. He's the most relatable character. He's a guy who just wants to entertain and make people laugh. He looks like he came straight out of JoJo's Bizarre Adventure. Does he really? Stop. He, he, really could really he could be a stand. He could be a stand. He looks like a stand. Actually, I drew a piece of art once with Metaton with uh, uh, Greater Dog as a stand. A <laughs> <laughs> so anyway, that makes sense. So it doesn't. <laughs> before, we, before we play us out, out are there any are there any words you can get you guys can give up? Are there any closing words from you guys? Mm. Mm. Stay no, Metaton. Metaton is Steamy. In the words of a famous comedian, I don't remember the name. Don't make your parents want to kill you. <laughs> Jason, they play Wise words. Wise words. Batman farted. <laughs> Batman farted. <laughs> I've got, I've got ex extra last words. Please bite my heart, I'm poor. <laughs> yeah, good art. Anyway, thank you for joining us at our Q&A panel. We're going to be doing the next, the new episode tomorrow, as well as doing an audience reaction to the new and old episode for our YouTube page. It's going to be a Gen 3 episode. Sunday I'm doing Shade Sight Studios panel with the Concert Cruiser and Bright Ideas where, we, where I'll be premiering Red's Magical Adventure and the new Pony par parody video. So I hope to see you there. Enjoy the rest of your day at the Grand Brony Gala. Feel free to ask us for anything autograph-wise, if anything, right now is the time. Thank you very much, everybody. Woo! Yeah. I'd like to thank everybody for coming here. I'd like to thank what the if, air for keeping me. What if tomorrow we just yell, say it? Say what? No, we just yell, say it as our reaction. Say what? Say what? Yeah, don't, don't get it. Get it. Stop. Stop. Shout Bad stop joke. Bad. Stop Higgins stop. should get it. I got it. Oh, you just got it? You just told me. Stop. 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 I can think of things. Say something I'm giving up. Okay, I gotta stop the recording for us. By the way, this panel will be on our YouTube page sometime time in a couple of weeks. Hey,